watching KCAL 9 News at 9. Governor Jerry Brown wants to slam the gates on California's youth prison system. KCAL 9's Joe Vasquez reports California could be the first state ever to scrap the juvenile justice department. But at what cost? The long, sometimes ugly, history of California's youth prison system could soon be history. California's Division of Juvenile Justice has endured scandal after scandal after lawsuit in recent years. Case in point, the 2004 beating of teenage prisoners at the hands of guards. But according to a budget proposal presented late last week, Governor Jerry Brown now says he would like to eliminate the Division of Juvenile Justice close it down for good. I think it's great because they finally, he's, he's, he's not only about the money, but he's realizing that it's not working. That is a dysfunctional system. Lourdes Duarte says her son suffered abuse in the juvenile system, including beatings at the hands of guards. She says her son was in prison there when they had cages that guards used as routine punishment for the kids. Duarte now works at the Ella Baker Center in Oakland trying to reform the system. A system that may no longer exist as of January 1st, 2013, when the governor proposes the state should stop taking in juvenile prisoners. Finally, we're going to rehabilitate our children, that we're going to be able to redirect that money. It actually is good news for the counties. Youth Law Center attorney Sue Burrell points out counties will no longer be forced to pay the state $125,000 per young prisoner per year. Now she says counties can use that money, or perhaps even less of that money, to rehabilitate juveniles much more effectively on the local level. Most kids that get in trouble when they're teenagers don't turn out to be lifelong criminals. Most of them go through a rough patch, but they come out better on the other side. So we need to do things that aren't going to make them worse. And I think that serving them at the local level offers many more opportunities than what we've had at the state level. Where's the money? Show us the money. San Mateo Police Chief Susan Manheimer agrees counties could probably do a better job with rehabilitation, but how are they going to pay for it? Another major problem for the counties, what will they do with all these young prisoners who are usually the more violent offenders? Joe Vasquez, KCAL 9 News.